Hey guys, we're working on this Dodge Ram 2500 diesel. Uh, the it has a vibration, a bad vibration. So, anyways, let's see if we can save some money by fixing it ourselves instead of taking it to the dealer. <coughs> let's crawl down here in the pit. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong. So, let me get my flashlight out. Okay, we'll start out by checking U-joints. That one's nice and solid. Come up here to this one. Oh, hello. Okay, I think we found our vibration. That rubber for the carrier bearing has just exploded. So, I guess we'll come over here We'll go get some tools. We'll pull this dry shaft out. Okay, the dry shaft comes out pretty easy on this track. All you need is an eight millimeter. I think it's an eight at least. Ratchet. For the back half of this dry shaft. So. Break it loose. Okay, back half is loose. Should. Well, maybe it will. Okay. Back half of the dry shaft coming right out. There we go. Set it off to the side. And now, let's see if I can adjust this line a little better. We'll work on pulling this carrier bearing. It's a little bit more difficult to get out. So. You have to come up through here. There's two bolts. I guess we could take these ones out. Let's see if we can pull these two bolts first. Well, no, we'll just go ahead and take the top ones out. That just seems a little easier. So they look like a 15. Check that theory here in a second. Yes, they are 15. on top also
we'll go ahead and break all four of them while I'm here. Well, that one's loose. That's probably why it broke. Need a bucket to sit in on under here. This is almost too deep. Boy, that one was tight. Now the hard part, whenever you're just one guy trying to do this alone, So, okay. set it up there and we'll meet you over at the bench now there's your problem lady so we'll focus on this now oh and it was way bad anyways so let's get a hammer and get set up to remove a carrier bearing need a hammer first all right stop hammer time There we go. That piece is off. Okay, now we gotta get the actual bearing to come off. And that is a little bit more difficult. We got to get a die grinder and cut this bearing all the way down. Try to get it out of there. So I'll go get the die grinder, some air. We'll get started doing that. Okay, I set you guys back a ways for this because sparks will fly. So, remember, safety third. Well, that thing's spinning on me. Now that we got that busted to the point about to break, we will see about spreading it. Okay.
careful there is sharp bits and pieces on there okay now we will work on getting this inner bearing race off cut at a pretty sharp angle so you get that and not the drive shaft Sometimes you can get the screwdriver blade in there, twist and break it like that. That way you don't cut all the way through. That way you have less chance of damaging the drive shaft. Okay, now we'll get the new carrier bearing. So far we're into this about, oh, 12 minutes. Okay, we got it all nice and clean. We'll get some grease and slather, uh, slather that in, all in grease. Then we will drive the new bearing on. I walked around the shop 10 times to find grease and there's one sitting right next to me. This just eases the installation process. It's still a plenty hard fit and stuff like that. So don't worry about using grease. So we got the bearing like that. Now the wise thing to do is find a piece of pipe. But the redneck in me tells me that will work better. or not. Okay, well let's see if we can find a piece of pipe. The drive shaft is sliding a little bit, but we're almost there. Okay, here we have it. Carrier bearing is on. Now we gotta take 
this bracket off of here, those also look like 15s. And switch it over onto that one. Ooh, they're not 15s. Okay, let's go find the D pack five. They are a 17. So, we will get this thing put back together and get it thrown back in the truck. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Jacking with John. Thank you guys. Hey, and also, enter the truck giveaway. It's... It's coming up. We also have a $50 Amazon guard giveaway. So, thank you guys. Bye.